Hey guys, welcome to Living Satisfied. If you are new to this channel, my name is Ellie and this is our my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a what's in my a hospital bag. This is my second pregnancy and my camera's dying. So we'll see how that works. But I want to show you what was in my hospital bag in case you guys are curious. So we will start with the of course essentials, a tablet for my husband so that he has <laughs> some something to watch, something to do during labor. Um, most likely not during labor, but definitely when we are at the hospital post baby, just kind of gives him something to do. Snacks, I have <laughs> two chocolate bars, two kind bars, and an RX bar. These things are awesome. Um, just because hospital food really sucks, we actually we actually will plan on having family bring food to us because hospital food is not great. And they also have like really weird timelines as far as when you can order food. So keep that in mind if this is your first baby. And yeah, so we're gonna be um, having food set up for us to be brought to the hospital. So these are just like a few snacks for right post delivery when I'm really hungry. Then we have a big set of headphones and a little set of headphones. Then we will come over to my husband's stuff. He has brought a jacket, some pajamas, a pair of shorts and boxers, and a t-shirt. I have brought a nursing bra, nursing tank top, one pair of underwear. Honestly, I'll probably just be wearing their like ginormous pads and stuff like that or the little like diapers that they give you um i bought a new set of pajamas i loved when i did this during my first pregnancy it's buttoned down these are short since it's summertime just to have something new something nice and comfortable post delivery socks um i figure i'll be there two to three days so i got like some like little grippy socks and warm socks Then I just have like a normal shirt and a pair of like pajama pants that are warmer just in case the hospital is cold, a pair of shorts. And then this is just probably kind of like a going home dress. It's actually just like a black maternity dress from Target, really simple. And then if we come over here, you really don't need much for your hospital stuff. It's, let me flip my camera. You really don't need much. And um, like, especially like products for like post delivery, like for bleeding and stuff like that, like they will cover you for everything. And my nurses last time, I just asked for a bag of all the stuff because if you've touched it, they can't reuse it. And so they basically just, packed me up let's focus it's really red in here sorry my face is here they basically just packed us up like a whole goodie bag of like pads and numbing spray and like everything that i had been using and so it was perfect and baby also does not need anything like they don't need diapers they have all that stuff there so i didn't pack any of that stuff for baby claire I did bring two little headbands and then I brought, let's see here, just a plain white onesie. And then I got a, this is actually what my son wore. Um, it's just Nashville born little onesie. And so I'm just bringing her two onesies. I don't imagine I'll be in the hospital more than two days anyways. And two little headbands just for fun. Like I said, they don't need much, um, especially the newborns. They're gonna be, it's best for them to be naked in, or like in a diaper and on your chest. So skin to skin contact as much as possible. And so really, I mean, you just need something for them to like wear home. And so that's what we have here. As far as toiletries, the only thing that is not here, uh, so we just are bringing one duffel bag, is a towel. I'm bringing a full, I am bringing a full size towel because the towels at the hospital are tiny and I forgot a towel last time, which means I need to go get it after I film this video. 
Um, because you're gonna wanna shower and get clean and your husband or whomever is with you is gonna wanna get showered and clean as well. And it's nice to just have like a full size towel, especially if you have long hair and you can put it up in a towel and everything like that. So as far as toiletries, we have toothbrushes, toothpaste and floss. And then in the next layer, I have a little mini deodorant. My husband and I are just going to share that. Most of the toiletries that I'm bringing, we're just going to share. Um, I have obviously a comb, a headband in case I just really need it, and two hair ties, a thing of moisturizer, and then I have three essential oils, frankincense, geranium, and lavender, which are really great for post-birth. Um, and even during labor, I might use those. And then I just have like a little travel size hairspray, conditioner and shampoo, um, some nipple cream. This is just one that I like for my post and a facial cleanser. And I just brought a little bit of concealer. Whew, out of breath. So this is actually not the type of shampoo that I normally use. It's, I don't use this face wash, I use something else. And I'm just bringing a little bit of concealer. I probably won't even wear it, but you know, good mommy eyes. It's like 7.30 in the morning right now too. And so <laughs> when I'm filming this, cause my son is still asleep. Uh, but, so just a little bit of concealer. I'm not bringing any other makeup. You don't need it. I mean, if you're someone that really wants to wear makeup, that's fine but I just found it nice to have, to be clean. Um, post delivery, you don't feel good anyways. And so like having a clean face, clean body is just great. Um, as far as like soap to wash myself with, I'm just gonna use the shampoo and just use that for everything. So besides that, I'm bringing a pair of flip flops. Um, again, this is summertime. Uh, the hospital will probably be a little bit cold, so I might pack a jacket, but I probably won't. And that is it. That is what is in my hospital bag. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, make use, especially if you're giving birth in a hospital, of the amenities that they have. Um, I do have stuff that I purchased for post delivery, like extra pads and stuff like that for when I get home so we don't have to stop. But if you are giving birth in a hospital or something like that, ask around and see what amenities and what things that uh, other people brought um, or used and just, you don't need much because you're only gonna be there for about two or three days anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that this was informational a little bit for you just to show like, I don't know, that you don't need much, just kind of like an overnight bag and you'll be good. So thank you guys for watching for the hundredth time and I will see you guys next time, bye. And of course I'm gonna bring this guy, this camera and our phones and chargers. So besides that stuff, <laughs> I will bring my phone and chargers, my camera, camera chargers, memory card and um we're awesome and yeah so just wanted to throw that in there <laughs>